and nothing immediately outside. I forgot to check the corner. We are in my favorite corner again. Gaston will not be the first one off. Ah, I really gotta... I gotta work on the soldiers in like the back of the ship, man. All my best soldiers are the ones that start up by the door, so they're always the first ones out. Let's see if I can uh, write that at some time. Virgil will just uh, hang out there and provide rear support for everybody else who will eventually work their way out. There we go, Tom Morris, he's a new one. Get him out there. How are you, by the way? Uh, kind of standard. You're a complete wuss. Uh, oh boy, that's alright. Uma Harrison here doesn't even have armor. Eh, pretty good though. You're at least brave. So, you have to be pretty brave to go out without armor. And already being shot at by just Aquatoid. Uh, I suppose it could also be mixed crew, so I should be careful about that. Um, actually, Tom Morris, I don't think you've got line of shot. No, you don't have line of fire. That wall's in the way. Just have Gaston Revenue here. No line of fire either. Okay, that's fine. Uh, anybody not have a billion kills? No, pretty much everybody's at least been on a mission, so that's that's good. We don't have anybody who's a complete waste. With all things considered. Uh, Gaston Revenue, get into slightly better position kneel down. Let's really make sure we nail this alien. You missed. Um, Virgil Conway, let's make sure we really nail this alien. Um, actually, your aim shot's kind of shit. Eh, the auto shot worked, though. Uh, worked better than I expected, actually. I was hoping he wouldn't uh, just reaction fire. Luckily, I think he spent most of his time units shooting at us the first time, so there's always that. Uh, this is a small USO, so I can't imagine... Wow, really? That's a corner? Oh, wow. Okay, we're not in my favorite corner. We're in a good corner. Not my favorite corner, though. Gaston is facing the wrong direction for this. We got Claude here with a big, big gun. Very large. Should definitely, uh, cause some damage. There's a bunch of activity in some alien sub somewhere. See if we can spot it here in a moment. Just stay put for now. Gaston revenues, eh, he's decent. So far, my Gastons are pretty good. Just kind of work your way around the front of the ship. These two will work their way around the back of the ship. I really don't like this area. There's a lot of rocks. The aliens could be hiding pretty much anywhere. Always a scary thing going through a field of rocks. Because all it takes is just one alien to round a corner and take a shot and then take cover. Renee can head out as well. Everybody's kneeling down. Lots of door activity. We really should find that sub. I think the rest of them are in there. Uh, the door noise has come pretty early on. Virgil. And we will have Uma here navigate around the rocks and see if he or she can find anything. Out of timing, mean, let's just get in cover. There we go. Be safe. You're a pretty much worthless soldier having no bravery, but uh, I still don't want you to die. Even soldiers with no bravery can uh, can turn out pretty good. Bravery is kind of easy to train up. They just have to not panic or go berserk when their bravery is low, so... Not too horrible. I think I may just inherently go up along with like time units also, just naturally, without even really having to do anything special. 
And still no sign of the sub at all. Kind of kind of annoying. I don't really know where they're coming from. Generally, they're in the direction of the sub. Whoop. We see one way out in the distance. Can kneel and take an aimed shot. Well done. Love doing missions in the day. There's no way I would have seen him ever at night. That way is somewhat clear for now. Virgil's just working his way up. I believe you've already moved, you've already moved. I think we're done with this turn here. Virgil and uh, Deborah are hanging back. Suppose I should investigate down here a little more since an alien did spawn pretty much in front of our Triton. Uh, that's scary when that happens. The thought of just leaving your sub and already being in their view is... Eh, I don't like that. Especially if they have a thermal shock launcher and are prepared to knock out your entire squad in one go. Pretty much lose the game in one turn. Ah, I misclicked there. Oh well. Haven't been too bad with misclicks this playthrough. I've been trying to be careful. Lowered the sensitivity of the mouse just a little bit. There's a slight sound hiccup there. Don't know what that was. Could have been an alien trying to shoot at me. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, they're still just... I think they're just hanging out inside the sub. So we'll, uh... We'll start sending Uma up there. And, uh, Uma will be bait. There's the front doors there. We've got, uh... Not really the best positioning here on it. There's a very wide open field here in front of the door. Uh, I suppose I could take cover there? Yeah, not really. It's kind of... kind of low cover. I don't know. This cover's risky. They can still shoot, like, above it, in a way. Above it or around it. Yep, there he is. Yeah, there's a lot of activity going on. Uh, it'd be really nice if we could get some reaction fire. Renee taking a shot. Nice. Threading a needle there through the cover. I suppose we could just uh, have you kneel. You continue to hang out there. We'll continue to send Uma up. Yeah, there he is. Nobody's... There's a bunch of them up there. Nobody's really going to do anything about it, though. Uh, Uma does see him. Take the shot, Uma. Uh, we'll go for auto fire. Okay, worst case, we'll just take the aimed shot. Still missed, okay. No big deal. Uh, just uh, enjoy not being promoted, Uma. I don't really know what to tell you. I see, even, even the big boys miss every once in a while. And Cloud, you don't have line of fire, do you? No, you don't. Alright, well, Renee, maybe uh, I think you might need to just take a step back or to the right. Here we are. And you took out the little bit of cover you had. Uh, hmm. Well, that's fine. Cloud will just... You know, insurance. Worst case, frag him. Ooh. Blew the door off, too. Ooh, that's dangerous. Didn't really think about that. Planning ahead. It's a useful skill to have. Virgil Hand. I think the alien may have taken cover back there. Let's shoot blindly into there, see if we can... No, nothing. That's fine. Hide out behind the rocks again. And, uh... I don't care. Kneel down. We'll send Uma up to investigate further. Or, wait, who'd I say? 
I meant Uma. I forgot who I said. We'll send Uma up to investigate. Uh, either way. Oh my goodness, I'm glad I turned around. You're about to get your lips shut off. Uh, step up if you can. Can't. Uh, we need... A save here. I don't think you've got a line of fire. That rock's kind of in the way. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see here. No, you don't have time units. I might just have to throw a grenade at this one as well. Uh, you're not in a position to. You've got cover above you. Cloud may be able to. Oh. Uh, well, Renee, you can't always. Uh, Prime it and throw it. Oh god, maths. Uh, 42? No. It's not enough, so just throw it. Kind of roll it over to him. Uh, take cover behind the rocks. Claude will just... Where'd you throw it? Really? Oh, it's up there. Okay. Wow. Way to miss the throw from like two yards away, and still no time units. Well, darn. Uh, I suppose just get into cover and we'll hope for the best. Because uh, we got somebody else left. Yeah, Gaston, you're. You are way too far away to do anything. Yorma providing rear support back here. A bunch of these guys, Virgil, just get back in the sub. You're not really helping these two people as well. Tom Morris, I suppose I should start working, uh, have you work your way up there as well. Deborah Cavado, you're the really accurate one, right? Yeah, 73%, jeez. Uh, that was an odd route to take, but you got it. You, you made it somehow. Yeah, we'll just hope for the best here. Uh, we may lose Uma. I think everybody else is in cover, though. We'll see what happens. Nope, Alien did not decide to come at me. Yeah, he's just sitting there. Kinda weird. To be a little honest. It's a little strange of him to have, uh, chosen to do nothing. Typically, they'll pop out and at least make an effort to ruin your day. Wow, that was probably one of the worst aim shots I've seen. And I just fucked that up because I told you to step up rather than kneel. Well, uh, we won't have you throw it quite yet. There we go. Renee was able to take the shot. May as well get Renee a, uh... I'm saying Renee. I don't know if it's Renee or Reen or Rennie. I don't know. I'm doing, I'm going with Renee, though, even though I'm pretty sure that's wrong. We got a standby grenade already primed and set to go. We'll have Gaston here clear the back area. And Virgil, I believe this is. Yep. We'll have Virgil help him out as well, just in case he needs it. We've got uh, Cloud here, Claude with a grenade ready to go. And Renee. I suppose provide backup for Uma. Your reactions are 52, so I'm expecting you to at least. at least yell at the alien as it runs outside before you get shot. I mean. I know that's asking a lot, but I'll do something. Maybe maybe call him an asshole or something on his way out. <coughs> Exchange a few words. Um, not too comfortable with our current surroundings. 
gonna be risky here and send Uma. There we go. Found one. Well played shot for the kill. Can't argue with that. And the medic has gone berserk. Uh, there he is. Straight up there. But now we know where he is. Bing. Hi. It's a very large gun for a medic. I'll be honest, my medics aren't really that well armed. Hmm. Then again, I don't actually have a medic. I gotta get med kits rolling in. There goes Uma. Sort of expected, if I'm honest. Just clip that onto your belt here. I'm going to ask that you attempt to kill the alien. I think you shot him in the head, and he just took it. Uh, reaction fire there. Uh, quite a heavy sounding gun this is. I actually hadn't heard it before, I don't think. That sounds... Oof. Sounds pretty beastly, to be honest. Kind of impressed. Is that the only alien, then? Yep, it is. I thought it was because he was going berserk. They usually do that when they're running out of troops. Yeah, did lose one. Only a rookie, though, so that's okay. Minus 21 for a score. That just goes to show you that, uh, Sorry for the noise there. The uh, the ranking it does influence the score, uh, whether it was a low ranking member or a higher ranking member. Um, hence why it's not a round number. It was Uma who had gotten a kill, so I believe was ready for a minor promotion, perhaps, thereby increasing their value. Um, for a small sub, though, we got a lot done. Uh, nine corpses, though, that's probably a big part of it. That was a lot of aliens. So that'll that'll help out our rating just a little more there. Let's pop over to the base and see how this is all going. It'll take quite a while for that to finish up. Research is happening, I suppose. Very small heading northeast. Yeah, let's just blow it out of the sky. Oh, speaking of which, uh... Aquanauts, we do have another name to give out. Thinking we'll give it to Gaston. I don't know if you wanted to uh, start off with a rookie or not. Uh, let me know if this is not okay with you. But uh, I think that is spelled right. If it's not, I'll correct it as soon as I can. Uh, yeah, your very own soldier there. Starting off as a lieutenant, so your higher rankings. Uh, and actually, I'm going to get... Let's get our... Let's see here. Take off those two. Let's get all of our names involved again. Get them out of the offices or off the toilet cleaning duty, whichever it is. Get them back into some action. May not send you guys out of the ship, though. Uh, like on small USLs and stuff like that, because I really don't want you dying. And until I get more armor. It's gonna be kinda risky having you guys out there. We are missing a suit because Uma died. So I guess we'll just take it off of some random person there. We will get around to producing more armor eventually. We'll go ahead and blow this thing out of the sky. Just a small scout of some sort. The alien, it's light enough now, the alien should be looking into a base. There it goes, disintegrated. The alien should be looking into putting a base up, if there isn't one up already. I could check the graphs here and see where they're at. North Atlantic. Uh, South China, that's my area. They're getting a little curious around my area. That's probably the mediums. But it looks like North Atlantic, so... I believe that's this one. I don't really know my geography, so maybe around here, somewhere there's a lot of activity. Uh, 
What I'll actually do here. I was gonna wait until the end of the month to do this, but I suppose I'll do it now. No, not right there. Right in the middle. 800,000. They're expensive. Um. Ah. Uh, what was it? Something like that. We'll go with that. And airlock here. This is just going to be uh, pretty much just a small, small base, sub pen to shoot down ships, um, a general storage to store things. And uh, we need we need an array sonar here, first and foremost. And when that gets built up, I'll buy a Barracuda, I'll have a general store so I can have ammo in it, and that's pretty much going to be it. When I get the new sonar, uh, the sonar, I'll obviously be putting that up as soon as possible. We got our facilities finishing up here in just a moment. Medikit's finished, and so I can put you guys on magnetic navigation, or... <laughs> to be honest, I'm uh, I'm paranoid enough about fighting lobster, and I might go with the thermal shock launcher. Actually, rather than the sonic cannon, I really my research is all over the place right now. I know uh, seventy might be an adequate number for that, and the thermal shock bomb. I can't imagine the ammo is too complicated. So yeah, average and good. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Medicaid, yes. Um. There you go. So it'll take extra long to do that stuff now. But as long as it's eventually going to get done, we'll get a bunch of medikits going. Actually, yep. Because medikits, I'll just stop the production on the heavy gauze. Um, medikits actually sell pretty well. You can sell them for like 60000 or something like that. So making a ton, I'll just sell the extras that I've got and make a little money on the side. Living quarters is done. So let's see here. Um, one lab, 16 techs. I don't think I can afford all that. No. We'll get the one scientist for now. Let's sell some stuff here. Yeah, one's already done 46,000 to sell the medikit, even though they only cost like 3,000 to make huge amounts of profit. Very nice to be making those just on the side. Chemical flares. I don't think I have really room in the Triton for that many. Uh, I'll go with 18, just so the first four people out have two flares. That's a lot of sonic cannons. I'll drop the rifles a bit. Disruptor Pulse Launchers, eight of them. Oh my gosh. And Vibrably Thermic Lance, I don't really know the research path for those. I'm kind of curious though, if anybody happens to know, I'll probably just look it up. But, uh, but I think you can get like, I think there's one more melee weapon after those and it's like really friggin' strong. Powerful enough to even take out Lobstermen uh, relatively easily. Granted, I would wouldn't really want to be that close to a lobster man anyway, but still nice to have just in case one happens to round a corner. Uh, it's kind of silly to use a point blank thermal shock launcher. I think that's all for now, and I will purchase just because I don't know where I'm at with this stuff. Um, oh, okay, we don't have any store space. Okay, whatever. What did I say? 16 technicians? I think that's right. I'll go with it. We'll see what happens. Speed up time here. Another small heading out. Let's just send stuff at it until it dies. It's giving me the creepy music again. I don't really know why. I think it's just random and it's coincidental that I only hear this kind of music when it's a large ship or a very large. 
shot it down on the third rocket. Oof, noise again. And I suppose we'll head out. Uh, I suppose I should, though, real quick, equip the medikits that we do have. I don't have store, store space. Um, I think it's finishing up in just a couple days, so I'll, I'll get it sorted then. Okay. That should be okay. Hopefully the game's not silly and gives somebody a heavy gauze rifle and a standard gauze rifle. That'd be kind of kind of funky if it did that. Wouldn't be the first time, though, it, it does do stuff like that. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it did. Okay. So we do have a couple medikits, though. So that's absolutely awesome. Uh, oh, right, okay. So you two have... Sorry, Tom, you're using just a shit... Uh, Shit rifle, deal with it. You get two clips though, so happy days.